What's up, gentlemen? How y'all doing? Good to see you. Man, we're just hanging in there, working yeah, as always. Yeah, man. working our fingers to the bone out here. Where we're at. Do you usually do this? Do we usually do this? We've let you in a good two or three thousand dollars in the past help. week. Who? Well, if we're not here, Martinez is here. Are y'all kidding right now? Y'all know better than that. We in here letting y'all in and out daily. Which one's one of y'all? Jim Bob? Something like Jim Bob? No, it's the sweet tea and beans. Oh, sweet yeah, tea's sweet got the tea sweet checkered oh, shorts. Right, right, right. Yeah. Sorry, you got, got the, the Did you shirt. get the fly? Thank you. Yeah, you got, got the fly. fly. All right, thank you. No, no, we well, got more people coming to see us. Thanks, Bernie. It's a party over here. I just nice. wanted, to, wanted to thank you guys. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate and now we want to thank y'all. Thank y'all for keeping us safe. Yeah. Hey, man, are you guys legal? Do you guys have a have any criminal offenses? Uh, criminal offenses? By God, no. Check no. Me out. You want to check me out? Hold on, let me snap my cigarette out, and I'll let you check me out. Internet. Go ahead. Uh. <laughs> PC is right me over. on your internet. No, 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 no. I did not run. All right. I'm not gonna search you. I trust you, man. You have an ID on you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm having a need IDs. Officer. Can I pop mine? I think my nose yeah, go ahead and pop yours, Beans. He need to check you too. Yeah. Did you hire them? Hire? No. Did I hire them? Not yet. The under sheriff's the one that's hired. Yeah, yeah. He's he's got us on post station. over here. Yeah, on the. We're looking to be meter made men. We like the idea of mafia, but we don't want the danger, so we're going to be meter made men. Yeah. Fix my tire because he. Oh. A good idea. Yeah, we we'll go. We thought so as well. I have the perfect car for that too. Ah, oh, we'd love to well, see it. We should let them drive it. Yeah, Come on in, officer. Come on in. Come on in. It's a party in here, brother. Yep, I'm good glad to you see you. Back safe. It's good seeing you again. Come on in. No. I'm gonna show you, and I know you're gonna laugh at me. I'm well, down. I promise you, I won't do that. No. <laughs> Talking about what you sent me? Honestly, is this gonna raise my car insurance if those got imported um, mm. into the city, then uh, that would be fucking uh, amazing. Don't worry, Reagan, I gave him a ticket. Thank you. I apologize, Reagan. I'm bad. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Only you know this. T, I'm gonna call Gribby Shut and up. tell him we're gonna be late. He's making I'll be right back. Yeah, tell Gribby we're gonna be late. I'll be right back, boys. Absolutely. Y'all need some smokes? Let me drop a few smokes on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Give him a few six. And I'd give anything if we had Mabel right now. Uh, no, you just you wouldn't oh, even bother Mabel. to be honest. I dropped y'all some smokes on the ground. If y'all also want one over there, yeah, Mabel. Mabel went flying. Y'all remember that? Yeah. No, oh, we, we never forgot do. it. Who's Mabel? Yeah. Uh, that's Mabel. their car. That's their car. Oh. Absolutely. Thank you. A little emperor. Where? It's bad. That, well, it's a custom emperor. It's one custom. of one. Yeah. No, well, nobody else on the server has it. It's amazing. It's got a patina on it. It's not like the glossy finishes mm. y'all have, which are great, but you can get those anywhere. A patina has to be earned. Yep. That's earned through years of hard work and service. Life experience. Absolutely. Oh, you know what? I should, oh, wait, I could display the picture. Uh, gentlemen, uh, would you guys like an interview? Well, we'll always take an interview. Is it lucid documents? Yeah. You could show a picture, right? All oh, right, right, right. I remember yeah. the other time you guys uh, said a few things about uh, the San Andreas Highway Patrol. So I was wondering which one would you like to choose, BCSO or San Andreas Highway Patrol? Or you know, LCPD. You'd get to work here at the gate if you well, wanted. Well, I did admire how that one guy shot that shot that person down in cold blood out here that one time. Not that that really oh, happened, I mean, but that I was impressive. That. It was that impressive. Was probably state. It oh, was definitely state. No, it was uh, it was actually LCPD. All right. It was nice. He, it was. It was, I don't think it was state. It was. It was BTSO I lie. Are, are you talking about so the like, guy that was on his knees and he got shot? Mm. No, the guy that was in a vehicle. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, no, that was me. That was me. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, nice. That guy tried. To, that guy I, tried to run us over. I did admire that. Yeah, he was coming right at us. Everybody <laughs> saw it. All right, all right. I like the sound of this. Absolutely. Can you guys do push-ups? Mm, maybe. As many as you want. I feel like they can do whatever we ask, to be honest. Like, no weird no weird stuff, but, like... Yeah, not a lot of weird stuff. Again, I'm a pastor. I, I mean, so. I don't know. Not a lot of people can do push-ups. 
some people aren't physically fit like that, you know? Truth. I could do well, at least on. three. Let me let me rip this shirt off and we'll decide if I'm physically fit or not. Dag, burn. You've done it now. Look at that. Tell me that ain't fit. Oh, my goodness. Tell you me that ain't incredibly fit. hairy. Nope. Well, thank work. you very much. Come on in, officer. And notice it. Yep, yep, you're good. Come on in. Clear for takeoff. I'm glad you had a safe day and welcome back. Well, thank you. And a back too. Hold on, let me pop the backside for you. They got all the Aussies in. I gotta take Check his phone out. call too. These fools stop. Hopefully, get all these. We don't get a call all week, and then I get. All right. Who was it? <laughs> you know it was. All right, guys. Uh, just so you guys know, if you do become a part of the uh, San Andreas Highway Patrol, correct? You will have to hit a minimum of six hours a week, as well as uh, <clears throat> shave off all your hair for your probationary phase. So your mm. cadet phase. On your probationary phase, you're able to get hair. Well, my, my locks? My sweet locks? Yeah, yeah, Flushes locks? Yes. That took have me you seen years, them? years to grow. Like the patina, this is grown, not earned. Correct, correct. But uh, if you got, if you guys do want an interview, we can do that right now. Down at San Andreas Highway Patrol HQ. Well, we emailed with uh, Colmont some. Correct, and, but he's, uh, uh, he's BCSO. Yeah, yeah, I got you. But I think y'all might have the same restrictions that he had. Oh, you said it in English. I said it in English. What restrictions do they have? Yeah, that's what I said. What is that? The well, He's a Frenchman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some of some of the the time we we have like blocked times that we we might man the guard station over here, and I mean, who's gonna do it if we're not here? Oh, we could uh, we can we can figure that out. Oh, we could hire somebody, I guess. Team, we can interview somebody for that. That's true. We could start doing the hiring around here, which would be nice. I'm sure y'all would appreciate that. Right? Yeah, y'all can deal with this booth and whatnot. Get whoever settled. Yeah, and who's got the keys to inside and all that other stuff? That's, that'll be our job. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct. But again, we can get you guys an interview for to become a trooper right now, if you would like. Can we take the interview together? Yeah, that's kind of a thing. We're together here. Yeah, this is part of the emails. There is a little bit more than meets the eye, if you get what I'm saying here. The purple eye. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, Apollo, how would you feel about that duo interview? A duo interview. Correct. And cadet phase. Well, I mean, yeah, y'all can be together during the cadet phase. That's that's nothing. All right, let's do it. All right. Let's roll this beautiful beam let's, footage. Let's do it. All right. I have a baseball bat on me. Is that going to be a problem? I'm going to uh, turn my car off right. over here. We usually yeah, no leave it running, but yeah. this yeah, yeah, can we? Bat. I'll leave that bat in there. That way, nobody. Yeah, don't take the bat. I don't want anybody thinking we got weird things going. No, we're not. Well, that was part of the lost and found. I just wanted to say, if you guys do hire someone new for the booth, can we petition yeah. to put a music studio in the booth? Well, I would uh, love it that. needs a damn CD player or because something. We can make it. music as we let them enter and leave the station. Absolutely, and they could do little guest spots whenever they need to. That's what I'm saying. They can drop Hot 16s. We could remake the Cop Bad Boy song and do Absolutely. San Andreas style. Oh, dog! I've never heard something more beautiful. Than no, this. no. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Bad boys, bad boys. What you what gonna you, do? Uh, what you gonna do when I come? Dag, burn! Look at this ride. truck back here, T. Ooh, ooh. Uh, that's mm. what we're right, gonna need to drive right you there. You guys want a truck like this? Uh, Y'all let yeah, me we're know. Gonna need that. Mm. that could Any be. Any backup singers on mm. that song? All right. You, you Absolutely. Will you give us your number real quick? Of course. Burn. A Ram. I'm gonna be there at Sunday. At Sunday service. I can see windows down. Little Waylon Jennings on the radio. Why should I put you in? All American Muscle. You can be bad ass. Bones. All right. Five thousand horsepower. You know. Hell yeah. All of them. I'm gonna put you in my phone book. It's gone. She's fine, ain't it? She's amazing. You drive this full time. This is you. Full time. This is me right here, man. Dang God. This is I'm in love. Amazing. Yeah. Betsy. That's a great. That's a strong name. For a strong yeah. truck, I love it. Yeah, all right. Betsy, Man, the name of one of my exes. Well, this is a strong Betsy up, over buddy? here. Pastor, thank you. Absolutely. And next time I see you at church, I'll bring him some coffee. Some bring cigs. the coffee. 
and the smoke. And my so guitar. Yeah, just I and found the guitar. Inside, but he's right. Absolutely, yeah. bring the guitar yeah. too. We're gonna need you we to sing a few songs. Worship. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You want to hear me sing? I can only imagine, real quick. Mm, just real quick. I got to do it. We got an interview. Here. Spirit lead me when my faith was set out for us. When we absolutely. walk across the water, wherever yeah. He would guide us. That is Ooh. beautiful. I we got, found our musical director. I got chills. Him, bro. We I can do it. Director. I got chills. We, we got a job. You got a job. We got this interview real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, we got to go right, interview. We'll, interview. we'll give you a call here in a bit. You let me did you, know. You got did you bring number. your... Hey, is, is it right, okay if we bring it. our legal legal weapons? Yeah, uh, we got it. It's got to be all right, right? We got we got yeah. gun license and everything, but... Well, they can take them from us. They'll yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Yep, we're locked in here. How do we get it? Hold on. How do we get in? How do we get in to for the interview? Oh, uh, here comes yeah. this. Now we we'll go up front. Go up front. Watch your food. Mine's a little low. Oh, yeah, God, we were trying to get here. inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we were. Right. Hey, hey, hop on in, buddy. Our hop bad, our bad. Yeah. That's, oh, that's no my worries. fault. All right, man. Pastor, I'll see you at Sunday service. I I'll can't wait. Later. All right. It'll change your life. Also, you boys are welcome to Sunday service as well. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I go to my uh, my church every Sunday. Oh okay. To hear it. Yeah, uh, it's it's up by uh, the beach. You know where that is? Oh no, we've never seen that one. It's not yeah. up in up in Sandy, not that one. No, no, it's by the beach. It's by the cemetery. Yeah, that's six three one. That's six where I preach. Yeah, that's where you preach, buddy. Yeah, Hill Valley Church. Yeah, Sunday. Hill Valley. You guys go to that one too? Yeah, we go to it. I preach. Preach at it. there. Hey, you're pulling my leg, buddy. Your leg. Mm -hmm. Lord, it's a well known fact. Everybody oh, can tell bless you this. his fucking name, then. Holy shit. Have mercy. Hallelujah. We thought you were up there at the old 127. Oh, no, no, no. I don't go that. They got Pastor a little. preach is funny. Yeah, they're a little different, yeah. but they're all right. They're good people. It's still worship, though. Yeah, it's worship. still worshiping. 10 sir? Oh, we're at state. 10 4. T, how many times have we passed this? And nobody's ever been here, and we've always right, wanted to come see on it. In, come on in. All right. All right. Oh, we didn't have our weapons on us. You want us to take them from us? Or yeah. take us from us? You got like, let me just, let me just, yeah, let me just straight you and make sure it's uh, yeah, 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 all good and dandy. Well, it's, it's certainly legal. All right, just, you're good to go. Wanna, go upstairs. You know. yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, of course. All right, let's see. All right, Bean. All right. You're good. Appreciate that. I'll let you lead the way, good sir. Oh, yeah. Right up here. This is a nice office. This is here. nice. Yeah, you nice know, we try our best. It's out of the way. I like that a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we're a little secu uh, secluded up here. Yeah. Always nice a bit of fresh air away from the city. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How All right. We're just going to sit in one of these seats here. Maybe a stand in there. I think the uh, stand is a little loose, but uh, you might have a seat. Or you can sit on the couch if you like. Dang, burn. Sit on the couch. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. There we go. There we go. <coughs> I think we're good. Yeah, this is good here. Maybe more of a stand in interview. It's... Yeah, I think the stand in might, might be. Maybe. All good. right. Yes, yeah, sir. I can try. Let's get over here. If we're going to stand, let's get over here. Yeah, good thinking. Oh, yeah. Lord, I've... I'll stand behind the chair. I've gotten a tizzy over here. Get out of this mess. Are we upstairs? All right, yep. so this is what we'll do since we're doing it two at once. Uh, we'll just go ahead and ask the question, and you guys can answer one at a time. Absolutely. That sounds good. All right. Like they want, they want to be meter want maids, right? Yep. Meter made men. Meter made meter men. Made men. Made men, meter oh, made men. Father, boom. That's the car beautiful. Fire. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. That's us. Right, I'm back, gentlemen. Hey, good to see you. I need to get that in here. I need to order it. All right, guys. So, uh, the lieutenant here and Mr. Dean Trans is going to be conducting your interview, all right? Perfect. Just give Let's me see a one second, all right? All right, sure. take your time, boss. All right. All right, guys. Just, uh, you know, go ahead and answer to the best of your ability, all right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You got it. All right. Okay. Hey man, but I'm gonna see you on Sunday though at the uh at the church for sure. What time do you preach? 
10 30 sharp eastern 10, standard oh, time see i go to the not service ah oh, oh, yeah why that's getting, why i'm yeah, having they, to come in the morning yeah that's a yeah, good exactly. service but they wouldn't rent us out at night i'm more of a night owl myself but i do what i have to do to get my church off the ground yeah yep. mm -hmm. so, all right gentlemen are you ready all right we're ready when you are which one's all right well, do you both understand that Sit this chair. is a uh, competitive spot? You'll be required to make a minimum of six hours a week in order to not get removed. We do, and that's tracked, correct? Yes, sir. Of course. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, just leading off that real quick, how many hours a week would y'all be able to put in? So, we give in. We give about eleven, maybe ten hours a week to this. So, I'm um, probably not all of it, but. All right. Um, next question. Just want you guys to know that any information that you're learned within the department may not be used outside of uh, any <coughs> anything PD related. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so you can't. Sure. If somebody asks about, you know, anything, you can't be like, oh, yeah, you know, it's like this, this and this. One of our better qualities is we uh, we don't know anything and everybody knows oh. that. All and right. we don't see anything. And we don't either. see anything ever. Okay. It's one of our good qualities. Yeah, so, you know, that would just lead to corruption and all that. Yeah, exactly. Like that around here. Like Officer James Hamlin. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that was a different situation. We don't want to talk about that. No, we're not going to get into it. We don't know what happened, but we no. know something right. bad. Will give us the details. We've, We've seen what he's doing news, lately, so. so. It's been bad news. And we pray for him, but that's about all we can do. All right. <laughs> Uh, back in you guys' uh, hometown, what uh, what time zone would that be? Eastern Standard. All right. That's for both y'all? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Right All right. Uh, give us a brief Say introduction about from both of yourselves, right? <laughs> no. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. But, T, you want to start? Well, I, I'm Beam. I'm Beam yeah. Skinner. And uh, we're from Florida, around Everglades region. And uh, we made our way up to the city, you know, try to find a little work. It's getting a little rough down there. It's hot as shit. They don't pay us for the pythons like they used to. Ugh, it's been a mess. But we're just here trying to get by, you know. We decided the safest place in the city was the guard station, so we'd work there till our time was right. All right. That goes for both y'all, correct? Well, well, like the same area. Oh, absolutely. And T there, he, he went the pastor way. Absolutely. And, and I, I kept having somebody calling me over and over during my interview. So I had to tell him, hey, please stop calling me for a quick second. I'm in the middle of an interview here sure. with state oh, troopers. So I'm sorry about that. I did not try to be unprofessional. Oh, but no, that no, may come worry. off that way. Mm -hmm. um, I took the pastor route. As he, as Sweet Beans here has mentioned, we grew up around the Everglades region of Florida. And I've always wanted to be a pastor. I love the attention. I love serving the Lord. And I love turning lost souls into saving the Lord. And, and we figured the best place we could ever be was right here in the middle of the city of sin. They say it's Vegas, but I think it's Los Santos. Yeah, I've I been here for a few weeks lucid. now. And I've been... We've been trying to save souls, and it's been a it's been a tough slog, officer. I'll be honest with you. And we see a lot of bad things go down, and we just want to make a change. All right. Well, uh, you kind of went apart. Uh, you you kind of uh, spoke about this a little bit, but what kind of lifestyles y'all been pursuing so far? You know, since you've been in the city. Clean, Clean honest living. Honest living. That's all we do. Preacher lifestyle. Mm hmm Praise him. Beam's a bishop. I don't know if he's mentioned that or not. Amen. Well, I don't want to brag. I don't want to brag. I'm still but learning. He, and he don't. And so he's in control of the collection plate at the end there and getting people to their rightful seats and making sure everybody's comfortable. Occasionally, he'll give them water, pat on the back if they need it, feeling mm -hmm. down about themselves. But overall, we're here to make people feel better about themselves and to change their ways into a more pure, honest way of living, like we've chosen. Mm -hmm. You don't have to live that devil lifestyle like they do. Right. Don't need it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. All right. Um, how long have y'all been both around in the city? I think this is day 17. Yes, sir. Day 17. 
Okay, so you've been around here for some time. You know what's going on a little bit. Yeah, all the sin. Yeah, absolutely. Tons of sin. It's a den of sin, if I'm being honest with you, sir. (laughs) Okay. So uh, why are y'all interested in becoming a trooper? Well, I reckon it's another way we could help change things around here. I mean, we just want to be involved, you know, and we, we do our best at the guard station, but people don't take us serious. And I don't know why. You, Not you guys. You definitely do. But we, we stand at the corner and we say, slow down, and nobody gives a shit. Hmm, excuse my language. Not no problem. He gets riled up about the speeders. In the they town. speed right there in front of the cop station. How it's in a the lack world? of respect. It's no That's respect it in this town. Not one bit. Breaks my heart. Well, you know what? As a trooper, you know, we, uh, we tend to focus on the uh, speedsters in the city. Mm. Perfect. And that, that grounds our gears, that does. If I don't you, know if we mentioned that or not. If you focus on the little stuff, yeah, like, huh? like speeders and people that park illegally, then we don't have to worry about the people at the top near as much. We get them when they're little. When they're doing those little offenses, if we just keep letting them by with it, they'll just keep on doing it until God knows we've got a meth lab or something going on. Mm-hmm. Right. The Bible right. says, you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Mm-hmm. So if you don't correct their bad behavior early on, then they're never going to learn. I don't want to get into a full preaching sermon here, but I'm going to get on the soapbox just for a minute if you guys don't mind. Go ahead, brother. We believe that a man should walk the righteous way, the way of the Lord. And every time we see somebody speeding, we know that it's just a matter of time until they're turned into a life of crime. And that's what we're trying to avoid. And we're trying to steer them back on the correct path. We're trying to get this city saved in his name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm. Thank y'all. It's nice to be amongst kinship. And fellowship. Powerful. All right, we're all a family around here. All right, uh, you guys have any uh, law enforcement experience? Well, we run the guard station, as you already right. know. We let you in and out. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's about as close as we've gotten so far, I would say. But um, I'd say that speaks. I mean, that's, it's got to be doing better than most. Oh, yeah, that, for sure. Correct. We've seen you guys in action. Absolutely. And we appreciate you noticing us. Hell yeah. All right. What would you guys say some of your uh, greatest strengths would be? Dag burn. We forgot to tell them about our crime we solved yesterday. We solved it. We solved our first case yesterday. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad that? you brought it up. I'm so yep. glad he brought it up. T, go ahead. Our good buddy Garrison was shot and killed in cold blood murder. We don't know exactly where it was. We don't exactly know who did it. So we were told this, right? We're over at the 366, filling up the gas good buddy garrison that we would always fill up there because i think he works there he kind of knows the people that works there he likes to hang out there so naturally once he gave us two four-wheelers to fit our aesthetic we thought well we might as well honor this promise we've made to him we're godly men we honor our promises and we keep our word so we go there every day yesterday we pull up and we see a funeral service happening, and I know it's a funeral service because remember when by Alan Jackson was playing, and one thing you guys will learn about me, I never forget an Alan Jackson song. Never. I knew the song. I knew it, and I knew I heard it. So naturally, we were like, well, what's going on here? This is a somber song, and we want to bring the mood up anywhere we go, raise everybody up for the Lord, as we've discussed already. So naturally, we ask a couple questions. We get our semi-detective work on. We're not full detectives, but we're semi-detectives, we'll say. And we find out that our good buddy Garrison's been shot and killed. Well, that's just not going to stand in our city. So naturally, we pop on over to the police station. We try to report the crime, and they needed evidence and all this other stuff they were talking about. And so they told us to go out and get this evidence. Under Sheriff gave us permission to get on the case. And I was like, well, thank you for that good permission, sir. And I will take that, and we'll run with it. So we head on back. We head to Luciano's, Luchetti, some people call it. I think it's pronounced Luciano's, but I'm not Italian, so I can't confirm that. So we go there, we ask around, we're trying to find any connection we can make. We meet our good buddy, Richard Sharingretti, uh, second person he's met in this town was us, so he was having a good day yesterday. And all of a sudden, we decide that, well, naturally, if he's always hanging out at 366, of course, that's probably where the crime happened. 
So we pop it on back over to 366. We're asking everybody around. In fact, an officer was detaining a man for wielding his Tech 9, I believe he called it, out and about, took the gun from him, and he took something else from him. I can't remember what that was, but I'll get back to that in a minute. So we were like, oh, goodness, here's an officer doing the good work right here in front of us. Let's make sure none of these boys that's wielding the Tech 9s out at 366, a place our good buddy Garrison hangs out, wasn't involved in one of these shootings. So we go to ask them about it, and guess who walked up? You'll never believe this. Garrison walked up, alive and in the flesh. My God. It's perfectly alive. So we're sitting over here trying to solve this crime. So we get to asking some more questions because obviously this thing will sit with us. We were looking like fools here asking about Garrison, the man that's standing alive right in front of us. So we ask a few more questions. I think it had something to do with an insurance scheme he was pulling off. We don't like to get into people's personal business. You know what I'm saying? We're not officers of the law officially. Only semi-detectives, as I've mentioned. And so we solved the case. Insurance fraud. Yep. And that's between him and a private corporation. Case right. closed. They want to press charges. If y'all talk to Coleman today, y'all tell him case closed. The Garrison case. Right. I'm sure it's been at your meetings. Absolutely. It's been every brief, and I guarantee it. The the case of Garrison being shot. Yeah, we, we've heard about it. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Well, we solved that one for y'all. Right. Hey, and, great work. Yeah. No need to thank us. That. It was personal. All right. All right, so I classify that as uh, one of you guys' strengths, then, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, detective work. All right. Yeah, see, following so through, far, but getting to the bottom of it, you know. Right. It's not right. being satisfied with the surface answers. We want to dig deep. You know, we I like find out what's going on. You know what I like about you guys. What's that? Uh, I like your morals. All right. Thank you. Thank and you. We appreciate that, and we can tell you've got great morals just by admiring ours. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know, I try. All right. So what would you guys say your uh, your weaknesses would be then? We care too much. I know you've probably heard that a thousand times. I'm sure you've heard it a million times sitting in these interview rooms. I've heard it myself when we were interviewing for the new alligator trapper down in the glades. And we always thought, well, cares too much. That's a cliche answer. We don't want to give that. But I'm going to let Beams here tell you exactly why that is and why that's such a problem with us. Well, sometimes we'll get roped into stories. And we have to decipher what's BS and what's not. And I guess that's probably about half of y'all's job, too. And I reckon we're not the best at it, but we can get there. We're quick learners. I promise you that. And we also smoke cigarettes. Also, the cigarettes are probably our, maybe our worst. You know what? You guys are humble. I like it. it. It's, a, it's a habit. We're saving up for a whole carton. Jesus. We're going to get there one day. Yep. Today might be the day. All right. How'd you guys deal with a, uh, a stressful situation then? Well, naturally, I'd like me a smoke, first thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, me Kinda too. Calm the nerves a little bit. Yep. Once we've done that, then we can figure it out, you know? Absolutely. And we got to decide if there is an actual threat going on here. Or this is just our emotions getting the best of us. Because you don't want to let your emotions get the best of you, particularly in a law enforcement job. You want to stay even killed, you want to stay steady mind, and you want to stay on the righteous path of the Lord. Now, if somebody's mm -hmm. breaking the law and there is a threat, then you naturally you are going to have to handle this sort of thing. Yep. Whatever that means. Right. It just is what it is at that point. We can't, we can't control that. If they well, want to act crazy, we're going to have to match the crazy to keep the good people of this city safe. Mm-hmm. Preach. Hey. That's a good way to put it. We don't want it to get there, but... Okay. If it has to, we'll handle it. Okay. We're going to do our best. We're going to try to talk it out Lock. with our words. See ya. Oh, sorry about that. That was, that no, was rude. They were nice. They're good people. Yep, good people. All right. What was a, uh, What would you guys say is the most powerful thing that a law enforcement officer has in your opinion? His mind. Mm -hmm. His ability to decipher right and wrong. His ability to stay on the righteous path, not to break the rules, not to go down the paths that some other officers have taken in the past, will leave them unnamed. Mm. And his words. The pen is more powerful than the sword. Also, there's always two of us, so we've got numbers. If we have to pull the sword out. If the sword has to be. So you guys are always going to try to uh, talk your way out of a situation, right? Oh, absolutely. That's the only Natural. way we know. Absolutely. That's lovely. That's lovely to hear. 
right. What would you guys uh want to bring to this department? What do you think you're different? Or you can bring that's different. Well, honor, integrity. I guess y'all have got a bunch of that. We bring good times. I mean, good conversation. Mm -hmm. We always have some smokes on us. We don't quite have a full carton. Again, we're saving up for that. But eventually, but we will have a full carton. Whatever we have, we're willing to share. Also, if we, I know it may be a little early, but we also have a badass car. If we could put lights on it, I'm just saying. It would bring the whole entire department's worth up. Tenfold, I, I would yeah. say. With Mabel with lights, I think. What it, car is it? It could unify all the departments that there are. Mabel. Yeah, I think that could be anyone in a chase. I'll say that. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. You're seeing the vision, I believe. Yeah, I think he's got it. I see it, man. Uh, do y'all know what chain of command is? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you explain it? Yeah, you don't jump the chain. That means you go to the next rung up. If you've got an issue, you don't bother the people at the top. He mentioned rung, so imagine as a ladder. Yeah. We'll be at the bottom of the ladder, naturally, as meter-made men. Yeah, very Mafia style. But the next person up will probably be an officer of a lower rank. And so if we've got an issue or we need to run something up the chain of command, we're naturally going to take it to our direct supervisor. We're not going to skip our direct supervisor and go to his supervisor because that's cutting his feet out from under him. And no one likes that. That doesn't make anyone feel good. Nope. If there is an issue with the next supervisor, you may go to the next supervisor, which would be his supervisor. That is it. You do not jump all the way to the top or anything crazy. That is correct. Spot on. Good way to put it as well. All right, let's say um, let's say Ice Tea was promoted, right? I'm oh, sorry, Sweet Tea. My apologies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how would you feel if you didn't get promoted and he did, Beans? Oh no, that'd be fair. He earns it. He's he works hard. And vice versa. I completely understand. We're not looking for promotions. It's not the destination. It's the journey. You're here to make the city safe, and however you see best fit for us to do that is exactly what we'll accept. Yeah, you two are too humble. All right. If uh, if you both are accepted, where would you see yourself uh, in a month in the department? Well, we can only give what time we've got. So I don't suspect we'll rise too soon, but I think that we'd definitely be out on our own and we'd be having good times and we'd be helping out wherever needed. And bringing in the bad guys or yep. changing their life altogether to we, maybe some of my pastor work I've got on the side. That's right. Oh, yeah. You know, um, up in the prison, we have a program beyond scared straight. You guys can start a preaching over there to uh, change the youth. That sounds awesome. Now, are they mandated to come to it? No, nah, man. You, you can uh, you can decide if you guys want to uh, take them up there for some community service. No. No, that sounds good. Yeah, instead of locking them up in the penitentiary, give them a choice. Absolutely. And we're all about choices, unless mm -hmm. they've done something unforgivable. Now, some things like, you know, murdering our good buddy Garrison in cold blood, we would have to lock somebody up for that. That just can't stand. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the citizens aren't safe, there is no law and order. When there is no law and order, no one's safe. Also, doing anything to an officer of the law would probably be pretty high on our list of things you're not supposed to do. All right. That wouldn't sit right. Including speeding. Speeding. Yeah, we definitely don't like them speeders around here. All right, these uh, next few questions I'm going to give you all are scenario questions, all right? Sure. You don't got to get them 100% <clears throat> correct, but I just want to see where you guys' minds are, all right? Perfect. Yeah. So um, let's say you're both in a vehicle together, right? You respond to a house robbery. And you both go inside, and um, Beans is shot down, right? 
And then Sweet T, you see the guy running off. What are you doing in that situation? Did I see him shoot beams? Yeah, you see, you you seen him get down by that individual, and then you see the individual run off. Mm. Well, my natural instinct is going to protect my good buddy, my life partner here. Um, but I would imagine protocol is to set chase and to cuff this man and to bring him to justice the correct way. Mm-hmm. Maybe go ahead and call EMS. If you could manage get all my buddy that at being once. Saved. Yeah. Call in. Go out. Call in. Yeah, naturally. Sorry, can you say that one more time? Your uh, voice box cut out a little bit. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll call it in on the radio so the appropriate measures could be taken to save my good buddy here, Beams. Yeah, that would that would be correct, right? In a situation like that, you would, um, well, of course, radio in and uh, give a description of the fella who shot your buddy. And I would personally say stay back, give him medical attention, and then uh, other officers can attend to said shooter. That's perfect. That sounds great. Exactly. All right. Let's say uh, somebody was hostile but not violent. How would you uh, de-escalate that the situation? Definitely try to talk them down. We don't want to show any aggression towards them if they haven't shown any aggression towards us. Talk it out. We we'll use our words. The pen, the sword, whole thing again. Nice, nice, yeah. You don't want to give you any more aggression towards said person. You don't want to give them a reason to become violent. You don't want to fuel the fire. No. Exactly. All right, let's say uh, y'all are at Lucy Motors, right? Your mechanic shop, getting your uh, your new cruiser customized, upgraded, and all that. And mm-hmm. then uh, somebody comes up to you. They're like, hey, man, hey, uh, I see that. I see that gun on your hip. Well, let me buy it. Ten, ten million dollars. Let me buy that gun off you. What are you doing? Well, we say hell no. Unless. Absolutely. They're going to have to put up a lot more than ten million to buy our morals. I can tell you that. Okay, what, what if he doubles down and be like, you want twenty mil? Twenty mil for that pistol. Get out of here, brother. Nobody's got twenty million. All right. Yeah, that's a good mindset. Correct. Um, if somebody. If uh, you do sell your firearm or, you know, any PD equipment, right, that would be considered corruption. Mm. And uh, you would be immediately fired from the department and most likely, uh, you know, deported from the city. Dang. Back to oh, no. It means I'd, we'd lose our guard station spot, too. Yeah, exactly. And Mabel. And we Mabel. Mabel. If we get deported? Nope, you lose Mabel as well. Oh, no, <laughs> that's a big everything. loss there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Well... That seals it right there. All right. This is the uh, final question. Most important question. All right. You can take all the time you need to answer it. But uh, here we go. Would you guys consider a hot dog a sandwich? Why or why not? Mm. Boy, that's a great question. It's a tough question, too, because your natural instincts is always to say yes. But the more you think about it, if a hot dog's a sandwich, what isn't a sandwich? Is a pizza now a sandwich if you fold it over? Exactly. Is any bread that succumbs a, a meat, would that be a sandwich, technically? Is buttered toast a sandwich? You could fold it over. Yes. I don't think, I think a sandwich has to have two individual slices. Circle the meat. Two individual slices. I don't think that a hot dog with its connected pieces, of, well, Lord willing, you've got a connected piece of bread. Right. So uh, what about a Subway sandwich? You know, they got that little hoagie, hoagie bread. Oh, it's one subway. piece. Yeah. Oh, the Subway does. Cheese. That's true. Yeah, but it's a submarine yeah. sandwich. So a submarine a sandwich. Like a a so a hot dog could be a submarine sandwich, but not a regular sandwich. I'd be willing to say that a hot dog is a submarine sandwich, but it's not a traditional sandwich. When you imagine a sandwich in your mind, in your mind's eyes, 
you right. think of some nice bologna from Oscar Myers, mm-hmm. some bologna, or you think of some nice sliced ham, or you think of some nice turkey, or maybe some oven roasted chicken. You think of a nice piece of cheese. You insert your favorite cheese here. I've given you plenty of meat options. And you think of some lettuce, some tomatoes, maybe some onions if you're a spicy kind of guy, maybe some mayonnaise, maybe some mustard. If you're a crazy man, you put some ketchup in there. But you don't usually think of a submarine sandwich, I wouldn't say. In my hmm. mind's eye, at least. <clears throat> what is a sandwich? All right, so what about a hoagie? We're back to the submarine. Or, or a hero. Right. Now we're into different type of subdivisions of sandwiches, right? Subdivisions of sandwiches, yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm I'm still lying with there's two pieces of bread with meat and some other filling. As a traditional sandwich. As a traditional sandwich. A sub sandwich could be one piece of bread folded over. Like a gyro. Yeah. So technically, I believe that all hot dogs are sandwiches in a technical term. But not a traditional sandwich. No. Also, where do we fall on quesadillas at this point? Mm. Dag burn. I, however this turns out, can we go get lunch after this? Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Maybe the burger shot's open. Yeah, okay. So what, what if you separate the buns and the hot dog then, right? Well, then you've just got bread and, and a hot dog. Well, And I meat. Mean, yeah. But isn't that what you just said of sandwiches? No, no, no. Two pieces of bread with meat or some other filling in there eaten maybe as a light meal. Snack, if you will. Yeah. So if you separated the bread or the hot dog, right? Put the hot dog bun. Put some ketchup, put some mustard, shit, put some relish on top of it as well. Why not, right? Yeah. Would that not be a sandwich? I think we're still on board with hot dogs are sandwiches. If you're willing to include submarine sandwiches as sandwiches. If you don't differentiate differentiate between submarine sandwich and hot and sandwich, then yes, a hot dog is a sandwich. Final answer. T, you got anything? I'm going with the same. Not a traditional sandwich when you think about it. But it's certainly a subgenre of sandwiches. It, they taste great. They're good. They're almost phallic, which is always fun. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I think that everybody here enjoys a hot dog, surely, right? Mm-hmm. Who who don't like to throw to Glizzy? You know, oh, yeah, yep. I love me some Glizzies. Oh yeah, mm. absolutely. And so I'm going to go with final answer. It's certainly a sandwich. All right. I like I like the fact that y'all stuck to your uh, your answer, right? We're not persuaded by anyone. We're here for the law and the morals. Yeah. All right. The logic. Uh, I said that was the. Uh, that was the uh, final question, correct? And uh, at this time, you guys are free to go to lunch. We will be in contact with y'all. Right Hold on. on, just real quick now. Yeah, of course. Um, we've had this happen to us in the past. We've been hostages before. And right. the cops came and they took the people away. We were at gunpoint. We had nothing to do with this. But then we were left out in the middle of nowhere without a ride. Oh, I could give you all a ride back. Well, that'd be amazing. That'd be all. Awesome. Yeah, I'll bring you downstairs. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should probably share should numbers ride. too. Did we already do the numbers? Or do we do emails? Do we do Still emails? Did you get their numbers? All right, what'd you say, buddy? I said, did you get their numbers? Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, can you guys go ahead and put a dot in the Lucid General chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, we, got yeah, your, yeah. we got you. We got you. We yeah. got a fingerprint system when you walk in. Yeah, little okay. x-ray system. Yeah, the, the, oh, y'all so. got us? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll yeah, just email so y'all if anything, all right? Yeah, I will yeah, keep yeah, in right. contact, guys. Look out, all right? Absolutely. Right okay. Here, we appreciate man. y'all, Sean. Yeah. Thank you, you so much for taking hey, man, the time. Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to come to that service on Sunday, buddy. We can't wait to see you. appreciate it. Yep. All right, and man, I'll be I'll honest be with you, just real quick, one last thing. Mm-hmm. When he was talking that $10 million for the gun, I was thinking to myself, man, that would get us a sweet church, but that wouldn't be the right way to get a church, now would it? Nope. Hey, hey man, exactly. I, I put my cap at $25 mil, me personally. Yeah, well, everybody's <laughs> got a limit, you know? Yeah. A yeah. man can only restrain for so long. Yeah. Right, we'll see you, brother. See All you at right, church. Brother. Yeah, it was nice That's meeting it. you. Mm-hmm. Uh, bring y'all back to your car, right? Oh, that'd be perfect. Absolutely. Of course. Thank you.
I hate you had to see us in that old hoopty. You didn't get uh, to experience Mabel, but I think you've seen her before. So. Oh, I've seen Mabel. I've yeah, seen yeah. You, okay, great. Yeah, that was a that was a weird day. That was crazy. T, you sit up front. I got a oh, okay. Well, T's gonna sit up oh, front. Okay. He's got the scoliosis, so. I've got the scully. Oh hell yeah! It's bad to the bone. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is all little, right. Little hell kitty. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, how y'all feel about that entry? I think it went great. I think we were honest, and I think if you think or whoever's in charge here thinks that we're a good fit, I think we'd be honored. Yeah, I think it went great. Fantastic. If not, no hard feelings. We'll still let you guys in at the guard station. No problem. <laughs> I appreciate that. And it's oh, piece of junk still here. Yeah, we hate this thing. We're going to go try to get it fixed now. Yeah. Absolutely. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you again. And yeah, no worries. Y'all have a great rest of your night, all right? All right. We'll you do the same. All right, we'll see you. She's locked up. Yeah. How grubby up. Explain to him what's happened here. I hey, appreciate the follows. You better not do it again. I didn't touch it. I don't even have the key, which caused a whole pro bunch of problems. You ain't going to believe what I did. What did you do? Oh, okay. Sorry. I, um... So we were there with Mabel, with all those people. Yeah. And you've let them get them repaired. Whether you like it or not, learn to love it. Because David Crockett, it's the best thing going today. Ooh.